Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at part three of my review of Microsoft Office 2010 Professional, the beta that was released earlier. And um, we're gonna look at Microsoft Office 2010. So I've launched it for the first time here, going through the account configuration screen. So just um, very easily answer all the questions about your uh, mail server, right? So from your internet provider or whether you're setting up your Gmail account or your Hotmail account through here, it doesn't matter. Um, you can set up manually the uh, server information, of course, and uh, then have it connect to those servers and verify that the uh, connection is good. Okay, so to manually set things up, you just go down here to the bottom and select and manually configure the server and then put in all the information and it would verify the connection was good. All right, so now once you have that set up, here's the, uh, the look of the full screen of Outlook 2010. You can see that I've changed the background here to gray. You can customize everything in here, the whole layout. Um, on the right hand side you've got a calendar which you can hide of course and uh, if you want to just see your inbox and your email you can just configure it by clicking on buttons and shortcuts to quickly view what you need and hide everything else okay so very customizable and uh, quickly accessible to everything that you need on the bottom left corner here you've got access again to your calendar entries your to-do list your contacts um, everything through those shortcuts there at the bottom and then on the um, top right and top left corner, all along the top here, you've got that ribbon interface, this new uh, toolbar basically, which gives you access to uh, all your um, necessities for email, right? So creating emails, appointments, uh, your to-dos, cleaning things up, deleting mail, replying, all of that um, is um, accessible through the top here. Okay, so there's the options. I'll just scroll over here so you can see. There's rules, managing your rules, alerts, now you can configure everything through the options. I'll go through that at the end so you can see how you can configure um, the way it manages your mail. Okay, send and receive tab here, obviously to send and receive all at once. You can do that. Show the progress, cancel things as it's downloading, all of that. Okay, and work offline. And under the folder option, obviously you can create new folders for your mail. And there's the uh, configuration and all the uh, different options that you have to select with regards to folders. And then view, obviously, is how would you want to, the, the view of, of your mail, right, of Outlook. So uh, how do you want to um, organize things? So um, basically, that's uh, pretty much it for uh, all of the options that you have on that ribbon, on that toolbar, okay? Nothing out of the ordinary, just uh, quickly accessible and uh, large icon so you can't miss things. Now, when you go into the options and setting things up, uh, let's launch that here quickly. You can see the user interface options right like I said setting up how you want things to be shown how often you want the mail to uh, to be checked how you want it to be displayed you've got also a whole bunch of different options it's just way 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 too much but then again a lot of people prefer more than too little right because you want to be able to customize exactly everything the way you like it so that's why Microsoft added all of these options in here. Now you might not use half of these, but uh, at least you know that they're there in case you ever wondered, why is it doing this? Can I change the way um, it um, handles things? So yes, you can actually. So here's the um, mobility options, okay, for sending things to your phone and language options, of course, more advanced options on customizing the looks. Okay, so again, you don't have to be, um, forced to use the default the default look and, and feel you can change things around so that's pretty nice and uh, again part of the office 2010 suite of apps and uh, next I guess what we should be looking at is either publisher or Excel so I'm gonna be reviewing those as well which um, carries the same type of option screens when it comes to customizing the ribbon right the top toolbar and the quick links that's exactly the same you can see that those icons are pretty much identical throughout the entire office suite you've got this quick links at the top which you can uh, obviously modify and um, and configure so there you go there you have it we've reviewed uh, word and outlook and next we'll review either publish or excel so i hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching